Hi guys, it's Heather again. Today I'm actually going to do a tutorial. Um, I'm thinking like a black and gold kind of look. Something a little sexy. <laughs> um, you can wear it to a wedding, going out with the girls, you know, whatever your style is. I mean, you can um, soften it up a little bit, make it more dramatic, you know, it's your choice. So let's begin. Um, I do have foundation on. Um, I, I know I switch, you know, foundation whore. <laughs> um, right now, though, I do have the Maybelline, um, the smooth one, not the, not the small little, like, thing, the big one. And I don't have it out with me right now, but it's the Maybelline Dream Smooth Foundation. Okay, so I have that on. Now, what I do, depending, like, how dark my skin is and how light it is, you know, right now it's pretty white. I mean, I'll be probably tanned by the end of the week. Uh, but this is the Physician formula. It's the bronzer, but it's the glow and mood boosting powder. So it looks like. A lot of people say it smells like violets. I mean, I guess it does, but it's not like that potent. You're like really sniffing to it. <laughs> this is what I do. I get a big fluffy brush. Now I like it because it has like this little pink one uh, right there. Can you see that? And that's what gives it the glow and the mixture of the different colors. You know, does it make it orangey because it has like the dark brown and the other colors and then you mix them together. So what I do is that, tap any axis off and then I kind of just do like your hollows and then kind of down. Because I'm not contouring, I'm just adding a little color. So I don't want to really put this all over my face kind of go under and bring it down get a little more tap it off kind of put it maybe as a contour but a little bit more powder than you would as a contour you know just bring it all around add a little glow to your face you know what I'm saying now for the contour bronzer it's Mally I use all different kinds this is Mally bronze genius self tanning powder bronzer and tan. It's cute. I like the packaging. It's pink and then it has the snake skin. Now, it's a matte. I don't know if you can see that. It's a golden undertone. You can use any brush that you like. Today I am going to use just an angled contour brush. Dip it in, pat it off, and then you see the angle of the brush like that? The higher pot's going to be up top, and you just bring it down. Blend it out up here, bring it down, blend it out. Just remember, let's say 1980s, you don't want to be like a soap opera, have a huge hollow contour. Huge harsh line, I should say. Dip it, remember, the angled, bring the high pot up top. Blend it, bring it. Now I have a fat face. <laughs> so, I know most of you guys have these beautiful, skinny little faces, so it makes it really nice. But I have really oval, fat face. Yeah, that's what happens when you have two kids. It happens. Dip it, bring it under the jawline. Bring it down, 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 down. Fabulous. Now, some people bring it up here. I mean, I have bangs, so it really doesn't matter. But just to show you, this slenderizes your forehead. You know, you got a big old forehead. Because I do got a big old nose. I want to contour my nose. Um, I don't have my contour nose brush out here. I'm going to take this ring off. Isn't it pretty? I love this ring. It's kind of bothering me right now. So, you know what you do is bring it down this way. Bring it this way, and then for a little hair. I mean, I usually use a smaller brush, but I don't have it with me right now. So I'll show you that, guys, another day. Bring it down. Just my big schnozzola. Hey, I'm Italian. We expect it happens. You know, I was always embarrassed of it when I was a kid. And, you know, you do get bullied for it, but you know what? It's me. It's part of me. It's my 
character flaw, I guess. So maybe it's a good thing. Maybe people like big noses. Who knows? <laughs> but, okay. Now, my little fave trick. Move these up. You know what? Do I have a barrette? No. I wish I did. My bangs are in the way. Okay. My little trick. This is Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. It goes like this. One side's corrector, the concealer, and the other side's illuminator. I get the lightest color because it's really, really light. See the little tip? Can you see that? I think that made it worse with my hand. I gotta figure out um, where in my house the lighting's best and how to fix the settings because I know it's kind of crappy. But anyway, we'll get on with this. This makes you look younger. You have the bags like I do on his hair. Um, I'm anemic, so I have some serious bags, you know. This is what I like to do. Go down. Okay, bring this out and bring this down like a triangle. And then blend, blend, blend. Then blend, blend. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. You don't want to rub, rub, rub because you're pulling your face, which equals more wrinkles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Just tap it all in and you are making yourself your bags go away make yourself look younger I know my lighting stink so you probably can't even tell the difference okay let's do that again on this side you want to bring it down cross your eye and down and tap 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 it all in you want to brighten up that area a little down your nose, bring it, bring it, bring it, a little here. make those lips fabulous. Alright, now let's continue with the face. The fizzies. Today I'm going to use MAC. It's Amber and Rose. Can you see that? Amber and Rose. And yeah, this camera stinks. We'll figure it out. So it looks like it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Has a little shimmer to it. It's a sheer tone. I am going to use my MAC 120. 128? 129? I don't know. This was MAC. Okay. Dip just a little bit. You know, you want to work. Bring it down, bring it down. I don't like to put up my apples because I have a fat face. I want to make my face as slender as possible. A little bit more. Oh yeah. I love this color. It's so pretty. Beautiful. Blend it all in. You want to blend, blend, blend. No harsh lines, okay? Can't even tell if I even did anything. This lighting is terrible. At least you get the idea. Okay, now for highlighting, there's a million highlighters out there. I feel like I have something in my eye. Besides my finger, yes, thank you. Okay. Um, I'm gonna use today the NYX Ultra Pearl Mania. It's a pigment. Use it for eyeshadow, lipstick, highlighter. I just tap a little bit in the cap. This is the Mally brush. One side's like for contour. The other side's like highlighter, blush, whatever. I, no, I just highlighter. Tap it in. And do a little V. What this does is bring the light up. You know, just like the little triangle chip. You want to bring the light up. Make yourself look younger, more radiant, more youthful. Who doesn't? Dip, tap, bring it along and up in a V. Along. Now, I have, well, not as much as I used to, but I used to have like really deep pores in the hair. And sometimes if you bring the highlighter too much or the blush too much in the hair, it really makes, um, I'm sorry, I keep looking down, I just look in the camera, I apologize. It really makes, um, your pores look worse. So if you have big pores around your nose, just don't bring it so far. Mine closed up, thank God. It was awful. So let me put the cap back on here so I don't spill it. OK. 